Turning to our final intercept heading of 070 indicated on the bottom left side. Notice right up here, I'm going to pause it, kind of rewind it, go back to it just a minute. Column 4 of the FMA showing you that landing capability. And remember, as you recall, the two things that you're going to want to push is the approach mode push button on the FCU along with the autopilot number two. Second autopilot's going to come on. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. I just rewound the video slightly. We're back on this 130 heading. Just a moment, about to get the final vector, okay, which is 070. By the way, 04. Five is that final approach course for only four right. Your final vector should be about 30 degrees off. So we're going to go to there. Zero seven zero. Notice up top, column four. Approach mode is going to come on. And it says cat three single. We're going to pause it. So we do have number one autopilot engaged. Cat three single. Remember, this is a fail passive approach right now. And as soon as we put the second autopilot, autopilot one plus two, we go cat three dual, which means now the best we can do is a fail operational, a cat three fail operational approach, which is the high. We go to cat one and let's talk about that just a moment. Went ahead and froze this here. So the reason we degraded here to cat one is why? Because we took the autopilot off. Take a look here at column five of the FMA. Remember FMA tells the story at all times. You notice autopilot one and two are off at this point. And right here, you're going to hear that triple click sound indicative of one of two things, an uncommanded mode reversion or a degradation of the landing capability, which we've certainly experienced at this point. Right now we're hand flying the aircraft. Notice auto thrust still engaged, but we are hand flying and we're gonna bring the airplane in now for a hand flown landing.